What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Namaste, namaskaram, Ram Ram Ji. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna check Dr. S. J. Shankar's greatness. This is by Abhijit Chavda Breaks Down Diplomat's Legacy. Let's check it out. Much love to you guys. If you are new, make sure to subscribe down below. I check out almost, I mean, most of the good videos from India just to understand uh, how everything goes about, all the ideas, great people culture and everything much love to you make sure to subscribe let's go some of the best minds in the world bringing you some of the best knowledge on trs clips i'd love for you to relay actually what ac has picked up from what have you picked up from him like uh i can't imagine what you've picked up from another human being because we we pick <laughs> up a lot of shit from you so what have you picked up from him so i, I call this the jay shankar him. doctrine which okay. is an extension of the modi doctrine so the Modi doctrine is about taking India forward with India's national interest being paramount. So the Jay Shankar doctrine is how India is going to interact and interface with the world, especially the major powers, especially with the West, right? So there are certain tenets that this doctrine has, certain pillars. The first pillar is the assertion that the West stole $45 trillion plus from India. And what is the West? It is the British Empire and its extension, which is the US Empire as well. The US is an extension of the British Empire. That is a clear, explicit uh, thing that is uh, that Dr. Jayashankar has spoken about multiple times, right? So the West has been the oppressor of, of India for a very long time. And if India is in the position that it is today, you know, third world nation, uh, very low per capita GDP, etc., it's because of the West. Secondly, there is the explicit assertion that Russia is not part of the West. And therefore, Russia is uh, was never involved in the oppression of India, right? Then okay. there is the idea that India is going to pursue an independent foreign policy. India will cooperate fully with the West when it comes to economic development activities. But there will be issue-based cooperation on strategic and national security matters. Issue-based. Issue, -based. Course, issue will be looked upon individually. The merits and demerits will be weighed up and then India will make its own choice independently. India does not need foreign guidance or interference in these matters and so on and so forth. So there is a very clear foreign policy that Dr. Jay Shankar is pursuing and that is clearly an extension of the overall Modi doctrine because that's what that's the vision that Mr. Modi clearly has. We can now see it that that's the direction in which he has been taking the nation forward. And for finally, we have a foreign minister who can properly uh, enunciate that and 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 explain that and uh, put it across to all the Facts. counterparts that he has. Jayashankar is, is a very the active foreign minister, and we are seeing a very Dr. clear Jay geopolitical Shankar strategy best. through Dr. Jayashankar. So, keeping in mind Dr. Jayashankar's reality, one slightly more layered question: What do you think his motivation is in terms of when we're sitting here in this podcasting room, we're talking about making India a richer country, a geopolitical force? Same intentions on his end, like he's very aware of these things about the 2032-2033 mark. If yes, I would also like to ask you, do you think there's a deeper layer? Does he have plans for the 2040s as well? Could he be one of India's next prime ministers? Uh, see, Dr. Jashankar is a retired diplomat. So I'm sure he's above 60. He must be in his mid 60s, 60s most likely. Uh, so he clearly understands geopolitics. As a career diplomat, he had to uh, he had to put forward the various policies of the various governments. Right? He had to essentially be an agent of these governments on the in the diplomatic uh, sphere. For once, he has been empowered. The diplomatic sphere to, to not uh, you know not indulge in politics and just deal with the national interest. So that is a very okay. good thing. Now, is he possibly a next prime minister? It's too early to tell. Uh, being a good diplomat doesn't necessarily mean that you can be a good prime minister or a good administrator. When it comes to administrating, uh, administering and governing a nation, there's a whole lot more than diplomacy. You have to actually deal with politics. Diplomats yeah. don't deal with national politics and state level politics and all that. Prime ministers have to do that. They have to juggle a whole lot of political egos and God knows what. So I am not sure if a diplomat is equipped or trained to do that sort of thing. So I am not saying that Dr. Jashankar could not do that, but I 
personally have not thought about seeing him as a potential future prime minister mm, okay uh and maybe one last question ac would you want to get into politics at any point <laughs> no absolutely not i am very <laughs> politics is is a cutthroat game i am i'm good as an observer as a as a thought as an leader. analyst or whatever i don't know what what you want to call me but i am good as an observer politics mm. you'd make a very strong uh, part of an advisory board for the government for sure i'm sure there's people who have the eyes on you and you will get some sort of job offers going forward <laughs> would you consider taking it up if it was in geopolitical interest if it serves the nation i would mm. man okay okay if i was uh, the pm i would want you like <laughs> by my side ac but uh, right now i'm just a podcaster and you're always on our side another epic episode of trs thank you so Thank you for watching this clip. If you want um I think it's always amazing to watch these videos. If you have been with me for some time, you already know that I always check uh Ryan V's podcast. He's so good, man. He has a lot of channels actually. This is just the TRS clips, you know, so I mean, the videos are short obviously, but these podcasts they go for like an hour, which is so amazing. I watch them. I can't direct you an hour video obviously. Uh it will get boring for me. and for you guys but um it's it's amazing you know um dr jashanka is one of the best you know and i like the answer that was given like bringing in diplomats you know and trying to solve and trying to be in the position of politicians and potentially pm is not that direct you know it's not clear that you can just say oh he's good at this so obviously he's going to be good at that I have no doubt that the people really love him and like really really do but I think it's a huge step it's it is a huge step um he has you know his his strength you know people see that and we all know that it's really amazing man the way he handles foreign policy it's amazing even for me who's not even indian i see that and i'm like that's really you know fucking great man like that's really great that's amazing you know so it is something to just look after and look at and be like yeah this can be uh something in the future and all that but anyway anyway i think uh india is heading towards a great and wonderful future with the leaders that are there right now um not everyone is like yes they're doing a great job let's get them you know but It is what it is man. I I think some things are moving in the right direction and maybe some things that I don't know are not but yeah, you know, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm I'm not into all that. Uh the video was amazing. The points were really on point and uh the points were really on point. Ha. Huh. Anyway, much love to you guys. Love you all. Take good care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.